Brandon Honeycutt, I'm from Geltner, Nebraska. I farm here with my dad and my brother. We raise corn, soybeans, popcorn, seed corn, take occasionally some sorghum and wheat. We've really, on the farm, try to stay on top of different technology. We are trying to load that information in, then find the right way to spit out reports, find the right information to share, to say, okay, these are the best decisions, and nothing's ever really worked. We've been FBM member for just over a year. Overall, using the software has been easy. You know, the new user interface was very impressive, was, and that even was more intuitive. And their new mobile app was really what we were looking for. We were trying to find a way to record information that hopefully would all end up in the same spot. And the ease of doing it, where it's just like writing a note down and just sticking a, a sticky tab on it that this is the planting operation. Well, that's kind of what we were doing. It made it work really well. So you can say, okay, I've taken this picture at 2.38 on Tuesday, June 2nd. The corn's at this growth stage. And then I take one a week later. We have that record, and then you can see what went on instead of just guessing. Sometimes, you know, you'll write something down, but you know exactly what it is. And that's gonna be one of the, the key pieces. As we're recording stuff, we can go back and then figure out what happened and why. As you start seeing the pieces put together, you realize that there's more to analyzing how your crop yielded than what you thought. And there may be a, something that gives you that aha moment. It's that, okay, I planted my crop on this date. Why is the crop that I planted that exact same hybrid on the other half of the field the next day? Why is the yield completely different? It could be a temperature at planting, it could be this, could be that. It's that aha moment that hopefully allows us to make better decisions down the road.